everyone welcome back to my channel today we are making a photo board using Dollar Tree products for this project you will need to pick up a white foam board I also picked up this wooden contact paper from Dollar Tree and this is going to be used as our border I picked up these little mini clothespins. It is a 50 count. You can find that in the craft area. And of course, twine. And last but not least, this chalk paint from Waverly. It is from Walmart for about $1.67 and it is in the color ink. So to get started, you'll go ahead and take your black chalk paint and paint the entire board. Um, but what I recommend to save time and money is to actually go to Dollar Tree and pick up their black foam board. Um, when I bought this, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do with it. So when I decided to make this project, I went ahead and had to paint it black. But to skip this part, just go ahead and go to Dollar Tree and pick up the black foam board. Next, you'll go ahead and take your twine and go ahead and cut and make sure it stretches all the way across and you can either staple it or you can use uh, hot glue. And so of course, if you know me, I went ahead and used my handy dandy glue gun and I just went ahead and pressed the twine into the hot glue on both ends and then you just wait for that to cool. And I did two rows of the twine in order to hold my pictures and I'm actually making this for my daughter she is graduating from eighth grade and I wanted to put her pictures from kinder through eighth on this and I thought it would look super super cute to make it look like a black chalkboard from school so I went ahead and took my wooden border and it is peel and stick and that's what I love about it. And then you'll just press that all the way around the edges and then just cut off any excess. And super quick, super easy, and looks so, so cute. It reminds me of the little school tables and the little borders that you see, the bulletin boards at school. From there, you'll go ahead and take your clothespins and just add them on one by one. And you can put as many on as you like. Just depends on how many uh, photos you wanted to add. And I love this project because it's something you can use and change to make your own. You can use this for baby showers. You can use this for birthday parties, even first birthday parties, and show month by month how they grew, or even weddings. I absolutely love when I see these at weddings and you can see all the wonderful even kid photos all the way through them growing up and how they met. I think it's absolutely cute when they have these. So it's so, so simple to make. And even if you have a certain theme, you can always use wrapping paper as a background and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So don't forget, there are other ways to make this in order to make it your own. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. So the question of the week is, what did you do to celebrate your 8th grade graduation? Let me know down in the comments below. I love the way it looks like a school bulletin board. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.